Hello, this is Kyle from Pure Storage. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, in today's demo video, we're going to walk through how to install our brand new remote vSphere plugin uh, using our new uh, VMware OVA specific for Pure Storage. So first thing we're going to do, we see we've got this uh, vCenter instance here. Um, this is one of the really neat new features we're excited about is that this plugin uh, reintroduces the ability to use RBAC, role-based access control. So in a later demo video, we'll give an example of that. But just to show here, this uh, vSphere instance is registered against Active Directory, uh, a Windows-based Active Directory instance. So with that being said, uh, we're going to go ahead and deploy our OVA template. This is a, just a simple OVA file you can get from Pure One or off of our support site. Uh, we grab our Pure VMware Appliance OVA, um, give it a name. I'm going to call mine uh, Remote Plugin since that's what we're demoing today. VMware Dash Remote Plugin. Uh, we'll click Next and select a compute resource. Obviously, we only have this single cluster, so we'll use that. Uh, we'll agree to our license agreement. Uh, we're going to put go ahead and put this on a VMFS volume. And then we're going to put it on our management network, AKA VM network. Um, from this appliance type pulldown, we will select vSphere remote client plugin. You do have the option of using DHCP. I do not have this set up in this environment. So I have allocated a static IP address, uh, netmask gateway, all that good stuff, and DNS server. Uh, here is our host name, we'll call it remote plugin again. Um, and if you are using proxy, we do have fields for that. Although I am not using that today, so I will skip that. Uh, now we'll go ahead and deploy it. Um, I'll skip ahead here since deployment does take a few minutes and I'll pause it. Um, here we can see the OVF, OVF template is being deployed. Um, and again, I'll skip ahead here. Now we can see it's been deployed. I'm now gonna go ahead and power it on. Um, we can see it's pulled that IP address, that static IP address I specified for it. Um, we'll go ahead and SSH to the appliance. Um, when we SSH in, uh, we will need to change the password for the first time, but once that's done, we can see under pure DNS list, uh, we have a couple of different search domains. Um, and what I'll go ahead and do here is register it, right? So pure plugin register host, and then the host is the vCenter that I'm registering against on that domain that I showed earlier. Uh, user, it does have to be in the administrator group, so I'll use the administrator at tanzu-fa-cloud.local. And then lastly, plugin FQDN, if you are firewalled off, this is an optional flag. Um, in this case, I am just pointing it at the appliance itself. Um, it will then ask you for your vSphere administrative password and your SSL thumbprint. Um, and with that, just as easy as that, this the plugin has been registered. As we can see, it is registered against this vCenter instance and available. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Super straightforward and simple, and we will have some more exciting stuff on the remote plugin soon.